Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Four Lights Wellness where physiology meets psychology. And in this one, we're gonna talk a lot about expression and the shoulder and how those two things relate. Now wait, that, that relates somehow? Well, let's think about what happens with the hand. Nice to meet you, see you later, screw you for cutting me off, even I love you. Those expressions have to have a stable shoulder to go through these types of motions of endearment, of, of expression of myself and what I actually want out of the world. And if the shoulder itself starts to get some micro traumas in it, we'll get into that in a second, what ends up happening is the body starts to kind of compress that joint a little bit to protect it. So now my nice to meet you is over here. I'm starting to cower away. I can't defend myself. And that nervous system starts to shut down your expression, starts to kick lots of tension in the neck and these back upper trapezius muscles here start to get short and tight. There's a lot of problems there. So this is an easy way you can assess if you have issues here and the assessment ends up turning into your exercise. Most people have a table or a countertop somewhere in their house this height. You can also just use a normal push-up if you're strong enough. But what I'm going to do, physiologically, there's not a lot of reasons that shoulder should not have the range of motion as it opens the chest to get the chest all the way down towards the table. And I'm holding that shoulder back on purpose right now, letting the chest open, rhomboids and the lats opening up in the back to keep all of this stable. But that's taking a lot of work and I'll show you why. I'm gonna do one with a lot less work. I have something called anterior capsule laxity in this right shoulder. And if I don't control for it, this is what happens. That right shoulder goes way too far forward into the joint, starts to irritate the ligament in the front. And now, like I said, every time I try to say hi to somebody, if that issue is happening and I'm injured, there's just this low, tiny level of anxiety that creeps into my system as my joint is actually telling me that it's unsafe to do so. So that's the assessment. Well, trick to fixing it is the exact same. I'm going to go into this without working too hard to fix that problem. Right about here, it starts to come in. So I back off. I'm going to hold this position and I'm going to breathe for about 10 seconds. It's really important to have that pause there. And then I'm going to exhale and push away from the table. Coming back together, opening up with a big inhale. I'm going to find that spot where it really starts to get a little irritated. Back off 10%. Hold it for about 10 seconds. And I'm going to push away. And if you want to add just a little bit of fuel to this expressive fire, you can always throw some affirmations in there. I open myself up to the world in front of me. And I give it all of my love and strength. You can say whatever you want to in there. But the idea is the more solid and structurally capable this shoulder gets, the more I can do all of these different expressions and give the world what I want to and protect myself from whatever I don't. I've got an email newsletter that goes out every couple weeks that has a lot of little tips like this that are super actionable. You can find that at fourlightswellness.com. I've also got some courses on this about the whole physiology and psychology meeting. Again, fourlightswellness.com. But that's it for this video. I hope this information is very helpful to you guys. As always, have a happy and healthy rest of your day. See you in the next one.